Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we'll discuss about a topic that how to deliver bad news in projects. Friend, um, this is a fact that uh, there are lots of bad news uh, for which we have to deliver to, to different uh, stakeholders. So there should be some manner or there should be some mechanism uh, through which we can deliver the bad news of projects to relevant stakeholders. So friend, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start. Friend, today's topic is that how to deliver bad news in projects. Uh, what does it mean by bad news actually? Friend, uh, there are many types of bad news which we have to face in projects. For example, let's suppose a uh, project is going to be a failed project um company is shutting down company is uh, laying off the resources uh, uh, you will be you will no more be a resource uh, or you will no be no more be a project manager for this project um, customer has uh, complained that to change the project manager or functional manager customer is not happy uh, with the resources of work uh, project has uh, lots of burden in terms of financial so friend there are so many bad news uh, which we have to face in a project first of all uh, just be a brave person and always be ready to face a bad news now coming towards our main topic that how you can deliver the bad news in projects first of all one thing friend that uh, whenever we have to deliver any bad news, first of all, it should have to be a face-to-face. -face. Never uh, give any bad news to any person uh, like on phone call or uh, like on just only on email. First of all, uh, always try to give a bad news face-to-face uh, -face and try to be a, a negotiable session. Like just try to uh, deliver the news and negotiate with him and uh, some empathy with him so just try to give a bad news with a, a face to face uh, meeting so what are these steps first of all friend uh, whenever you are giving any bad news uh, just be objective and share the facts like whatever the facts for example you are telling some project manager that he is not a good project manager so you should give some facts about it you should give some objective uh, like whatever the discussion is going on it should not be any emotional uh, basis like it should be based on facts and figure okay and then the next point uh, very important that face to face talking is very important never give any bad news only just only a phone call or just only on emails because see you don't know that uh, in which mood the other person is sitting so always give a bad news face to face talking okay then uh, ensure that all stakeholders receive the message that is relevant and appropriate to their needs. Uh, friend, whenever you are giving some message which uh, bad news which are relevant to one or more person, so always try to, if that is the case, like for example, four people are affecting. So just try to conduct a session. Like never give uh, a resource individually news. Like just try to conduct a session in which you uh, give the relevant uh, information or relevant bad news to all the people, people simultaneously. This is very important. Uh, then the, uh, the session, whatever the session you are going to conduct, it should be a two-way dialogue. Like people are talking to each other, they are also giving their feedback and based on their feedback you are talking. So in that way you must have to uh, uh, conduct a session. So friend, what are the uh, key points whenever you are giving uh, the uh, bad news? First of all, be direct and to the point. That means friend, if you are uh, giving any bad news to senior management, okay? So you, we all know that uh, senior management, management doesn't have so much time and they are already packed with so many hundred thousand, th th hundreds of things. So whenever you are giving any bad news, don't try to go here and there, okay? Just be specific and honestly and truthfully what, uh, whatever the facts are there so just tell the truth okay never uh, try to uh, round about the things it is 
many of the people try and think that they can round about the things in front of management and honestly telling me telling you that 90 percent people fail in this type of strategy so always be direct and on the point repeat the point and tell the truth whatever the facts are there then wait and see approach so friend wait and see approach basically uh, if you just see these two terms wait and see many times it happens friend that uh, we tell the bad news however if we wait for some time for example one month we can face or uh, we can pass or two months we can pass maybe things become better after two months so uh, sometime it happens it it's a better approach to just uh, not only uh, just give the ba ba give the bad news at a very early stage it is better to wait for some time and if you think that maybe things gets better after some time so it's better to just wait and see maybe it happened that after two months or three months things better things gets better heads up heads up means friend uh, it is better for example you are thinking that this bad thing happen in future for example you know that uh, this project is going to be a failed project so it's better to tell uh, about this thing uh, early as early as possible like for example one month before or two months before because the stakeholder become gets heads up like they will become ready uh, about it whatever the decision they want to take so they can take it accordingly then uh, uh, for uh, whatever the uh, bad news you are going to tell so you should know about the legal policies hr policies whatever the consequences are there you should tell them uh, proactively like for example uh, honestly if you are going to fire any resource if you are going to lay off any resource so you must have to know that what are the legal aspects are there what are the hr aspects are there you uh, if you are going to uh, close any project for example you are uh, working on some project and now you are closing any project at some outside the country uh, so you must have to know that what are the consequences are there because you know you must have to know that uh, the legal consequences and legal obligations are different country to country so uh, whatever the decision you are going to take you must have to know the uh, legal policies you must have uh, these policies in written with you hr policies are very important like for example it happens that uh, that uh, you can't take any decisions about uh, resources if if there's something written in the hr policy so you can't take any decision so uh, legal policies and hr policies should be clear crystal clear whatever the decision you are going to take so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side thank you